Dave, it's May. You believe that? No, I, I, I was just, I cannot believe April went by so quickly. I mean, doesn't feel like May in the bluegrass. No, it does not. Uh, right now, I mean, uh, I don't know about you. We had hail uh, at about two two thirty this afternoon. Now it was pea size and it didn't last long, but still, hail. Not not what I was looking for 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 the beginning end of April, beginning of May. Well, Dave, hopefully the weather improved. Looks like a little later at the end of this week and end of the following weeks. Uh, it's gonna be a little more May light. Light. Yep. I'm 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 ready for the the warm weather to to be consistent. Uh, none of this back and forth stuff. But uh, you know what? Hey, I'm getting to model. So you you know if I'm down in the model room, it really doesn't matter what the weather outside looks like. Well, this drops May first. You know what May first is? Yes, I do know what May first is. It's my birthday. <laughs> Well, I was thinking May Day, the 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 the, the communist holiday, etc. Well, you know, Hugo <laughs> and and Fidel used to have those great parades for me, <laughs> and it's just it's all gone to crap, man. It was all that Russian armor. I mean, you got to have this great parade. They put on just for you a parade where they dragged out all the Russian armor, and you got to watch it. That, that I'd say that was pretty generous of them. No, I think it was too, but uh, <laughs> the times are changing, man. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Well, uh, let's see. You're, is this 65 or 66 for you? It's 55, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I have to give you. I have to give you trouble, man. Congratulations on making it to 55. You'll wake up. So, you'll wake up in the morning, and something new will hurt every day. From now on in. <laughs> probably true. Probably true. Well, Dave, over the last month in April and then going into May, we've, we all, well, not we, but uh, let's just say Plastic Model Mojo has been some places. There you go. Yes. And uh, and hopefully going some, some more. Uh, yep. Where did you go in April? Well, well let's see. Uh, we know at the end of March was Heritage Con, so April was uh, Indy which is always a, uh, a show filled with memories for you and I, because it's the first show we ever went to and recorded at. And it was the first show post-pandemic. The indie guys took a real chance in 2021 when they did that. And uh, I, you know what? I, I, I always have good feelings going to Indy uh, while this year, due to unforeseen circumstances, you weren't able to go. I was able to recruit Skippy, and uh, Skippy and I went up to Indy, where we had a great time. You missed a good show. Uh, yeah, I know. Indy was fantastic. It just, I mean, got to see a lot of the listeners, people coming by the table. Uh, I took delivery of our uh, our Jamaican patty order. Um, the vendors were fantastic, so you gotta, you gotta, you gotta get that on the calendar for next year, and hopefully nothing will pop up that will will interfere. Well, that's that's it, right? It's it's not that it's not on the calendar. It's the, right. Uh, it's the uh, the hierarchy of uh, priorities. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> well, Dave, in May, yeah, I'm gonna call it tentative, but uh, I'm. And if you're going to come, that'd be great. Or if you go, go without me, that'll be great too. But uh, trying to get down to Smoky Mountain Model Con in Knoxville. What is the date on Smoky Mountain? The, the date is Saturday, May 20th. And uh, right now it's looking pretty good. But there's some stinking graduation parties from folks, <laughs> kids, kids of friends. There's some wild cards out there. All so right. I'm not gonna, well, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to promise. But uh, if we get to anywhere in May, I think that's going to be the only shot. Yeah, I, well, I, I would love to take a shot at it. Uh, uh, right now, as far as things go, uh, my calendar's clear for it. But uh, again, you never know what comes up, family, etc. But yeah, I'd like to do that. And then in June, we've got uh, 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 Wonderfest. And I am definitely going to Wonderfest. I'm going to try and arrange a Wonderfest uh, pre-show get-together. And uh, 
who knows? We'll see. We'll, we're playing that by ear. But that that Wonderfest has it, Wonderfest is always a great show, and it has potential to be a really fun time this year. Since that's all where we've been and where we're going, uh, we got a we got a couple of really good episodes coming up in May, Dave. Uh, I am looking forward to both of these episodes. Episode eighty nine will drop this week on Friday, unless. Uh, Unless I get too busy and I got to push it out, but uh, that rarely happens. <laughs> so Friday, May 5th, episode 89, Tools, an epic tale of reverence and regrets. Yep. Uh, D- Dave, we're going to be talking about quality tools by not exactly quality tools. Yes. Our mistakes, uh, learning from our mistakes. Learning uh, from our mistakes, you know, our, our regrettable purchases, and then also our favorite tools and... uh why they are and uh, why we would recommend them to somebody else. Yes, absolutely. And there are some lessons in there. Uh, 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 we have interacted with a few members, a uh, few listeners, and got some stuff to mention there too. So I'm, I'm looking forward to this episode because I do think tools is a constant subject for modelers. Episode 90. Man, we're getting close to 100. I know. Well, anyway, episode 90 is uh, going to be Water and Snow for the Dioramist. And uh, Plastic Model Mojo regular Steve Hustad is going to be coming back to talk about uh, his favorite snow and water techniques he uses on his own dioramas. How, how good is that going to be, Dave? Well, that's going to be fantastic because, again, where I first became aware of Steve many years ago was his fantastic ditched JU-188 diorama, where the water effect was simply stunning. The last model that Steve has completed is another piece with water, but of a completely different type and using completely different methods and a completely different effect. So I'm really looking for... He, he really has... He's got this down and and i'm really looking forward to picking his brain well dave the dojo has been absolutely hopping oh gosh absolutely in fact we've hit a milestone yes we have we are now well north of 2000 members uh in fact we're creeping up on 2100 uh, you know, not only the number of people, but the activity level there is amazing. We're getting anywhere between between 10 and 20 posts a day, and then a lot more people commenting on those posts. So there's a lot of interaction, and it's not just, hey, look at this. There's a lot of posts of interesting models. There's posts that you look at and, you know, it's like, how'd you do that? There's a lot of posts of people saying, hey, I want to do this, or I'm looking, or how do I do this? There's a lot of interaction. And and that's, you and I have said it before, the, the one of the big uh, unexpected outgrowths of doing this has been that building of a community And I'll tell you what, we got great listeners. The interactions on the dojo are an outgrowth of that. I'm having a great time. Yeah, me too. I like posting my stuff there. There's some quirks with Facebook. I'm I'm (laughs) yes. I'm I'm probably uh, showing my 55 years, but uh, there's there's something up with the the way the albums work versus what I've most recently added to the album when it gets posted. I've quite figured out yet. So. Facebook may change it from day to day. One day it worked one way, and then you go in and you do the same thing the next day, and it works differently. Call me a boomer, but I'm not. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm right on the cusp. Uh, on that uh, on that vein, folks, uh, please interact with the show. You can do so by sending us an email at plasticmodelmojo at gmail.com, or you can use the Facebook direct messaging system to send us a message that way and start a conversation. I usually handle email. Dave usually handles the direct messages, but uh, please, if you got something to say or something to ask, we'll get it in there and uh, we'll do our best. Well, and not only that, but speaking of interacting, 
Uh, we've got episode one co- 100 coming up, and we've got a little bit of a treat for that. We do. That's a little down the road, but let me back up just a little bit. In sure. addition to emails and DMs, uh, folks, throw us your topics for the Wheel of Accidental Wisdom. This is going to be a recurring segment about once a quarter. We're going to always be taking stuff off the wheel. We're going to need to add stuff back in to keep it kind of fresh and keep it kind of lively. Send those send those topics in. As to what Dave was referring to, episode 100 will be hitting in October, and for that episode, we're going to be having the uh, the episode be the Wheel of Accidental Wisdom, and we're going to let that be a Patreon call-in show. So it will be Dave and I, and uh, every wheel, every spin of the wheel, we're going to pick a caller who's waiting online, and uh, you can get in and, and throw your two cents in on the wheel. So should be a lot of fun. Yes, absolutely. That's going to be a great time. And the wheel has turned out to be... Uh, you know, uh, we we originally came up with it kind of as a, a you know silly, lighthearted thing, but the, but they seem to be really, really popular episodes. So, and the topics you all throw out are fantastic. I mean, you know, Mike and I come up with a few of them, but the vast majority of the stuff that ends up on the wheel is somebody emailing us or somebody DMing us and say, hey, here's an idea. Hey, here's a question. What about this? And it ends up on the wheel. So please keep them coming. Differentiate. If you have one you want to be on the wheel, tell us that. As yes. far, or, or else we're going to answer it during our, our listener mail. And they can be wacky. They can you do serious to wacky to anything in between. Send us your ideas and we'll sort through them and get them on the wheel because it's really fun just answering some of the and some of them are real thought provoking, you know. Well, Dave, I'll see you again here in a couple in a day or so to uh, knock this next episode out. So, folks, yes. please join us for episode uh, 8990 in the month of May. As we always say, Dave, so many kids, so little time. Yeah.